This is going to be part two in my Saxon series. Today we will be looking at Saxon Math 2. If you watched my last video on Saxon Math 1, you will see that Math 2 is laid out exactly the same as Math 1. You will need the same components as well. You will need the teacher's manual, two student workbooks, you will need the meeting book, you will need the flashcards. I have mine in a bag here. And you will also need the manipulative kit. So I showed some of the manipulatives in part one of the series, but if you want to see everything that is a part of the kit, I will put a link below so that you can see every single item that that kit comes with. I will also put a link below to the Saxon placement tests so you can see if this book is the right level for your child. So this, this book is intended for second grade and some of the concepts that are covered in this book are the addition and subtraction facts, odd and even numbers, fractions, reading a thermometer, different kinds of graphs, counting money, measuring with a ruler, adding and subtracting two digit numbers. Um, they do introduce multiplication and division but they don't teach all of the facts in this level they do teach multiplying by ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, tens, and 100, but they only teach um, dividing by two, and that's the very last lesson in this book. So they get into division um, fully in math three, but they are definitely getting into multiplying in this book and all of the addition and subtraction facts. So let's take a look at a lesson in the teacher's manual. So this is lesson 37. So if you saw my last video about math one, you'll see this is laid out exactly the same way. So you start off with your gray box, which is for you to prepare for the lesson. It tells you the materials you will need, the manipulatives you will need, and anything you need to prepare. Like for here, you need to put some money together for the child to count during the lesson. So the first thing you will do actually with your child is what they call the meeting and you will need the meeting book for this part. So I do have a math two meeting book to show you. So it is a calendar. So they will get practice. The child will get practice um, putting the dates in the calendar and um, writing out the date. And you will also check the weather each day, you go outside and feel uh, whether it feels hot, warm, cool, or cold, and you will graph that. And then as the year goes on, you'll actually move on to this kind of graph for um, the temperature, and you'll actually use the thermometer and um, to the nearest 10. And then as the year progresses, you'll eventually get to uh, looking at the thermometer to the nearest 2. So other things you will do in your meeting book would be um, there's some other graphs that you will be doing and there's counting strips. So this is like counting by twos, threes, fours, fives, tens, twenty fives and things like that. So that's what's included in this meeting book. So you will do this every day that you do um, a lesson. And also in the meeting you, you do various counting, you do a pattern each day, you do money each day and you do your clock each day. So after you do the meeting, then you have your lesson in which you will teach the new concept and it is scripted for you so you don't have to um, prepare anything for that. You, everything you need to say is right here to teach the new concept. So after you've done that, um, you will practice your math facts and there's usually a worksheet of math facts as well in the workbook and then the child will do the worksheet for the day. So I will show you in um, one of the workbooks. So here is a fact sheet, it's a sub subtraction fact sheet, and here is an example of what the worksheets look like. I like how these are laid out, it's very simple and it's not too many problems. I like that. There is a second side to the worksheet 
And as I explained in the last video, this was originally intended for homework. So it's not really necessary, in my opinion, to do the second side because it's basically the same kinds of problems done over again for extra practice. So I'll show you a few more pages so you get um, more of an idea. But it's pretty much the same. You have your fact sheet and then your worksheet. And there are tests. I think they have tests every fifth lesson. So here is one of the tests. This is an assessment. So that is what Saxon Math 2 looks like. And in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys Saxon Math 3. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.